guys, it's Sheila, and I'm here to tell you guys why I got my new camera. Um, this one is the Canon 60. So I've been filming my YouTube videos with my Canon Rebel T6i, and at first I was trying to upgrade my filming camera and I was thinking about getting the ADD but then I realized that I don't really have any complaints with my camera I've had it since 2015 um, I think I'm gonna do a second video on why I love it so much but I just really have no complaints with that camera and so I was looking into ADD and I thought it was really really expensive and then kind of during that time it also emerged like a really I don't know I've just started loving photography so so much and I really wanted to get more into it and start posting more like intentional pictures so then I thought like maybe I wanted a you know camera for that because I didn't want to just take out my T6i from the setup where it is I'm in really small setups I feel in my room by the way so I had to get, go around the bed and like I will knock things over it just it was a mess I had to change the settings every time and it just it's easier for me to just get up sit in front of my camera film a video and not have everything you know moving I know it sounds very lazy but when you're like filming video after video after video it just gets like those little things get to be a lot so anyway I know I'm giving you like so many more details that you want to know but basically I wanted a camera that was just in like intended for photography and that I could just take with me everywhere and not have to worry about taking this one um, with that same idea I also wanted something that was a full frame because my T6i is a crop sensor so I started looking into the um, 5D Mark II, 5D Mark III and honestly those were out of my budget so I found the best I think for me and it's a 60 so I got this one in a really good deal I got it used on eBay and I honestly the camera is impeccable like there's nothing wrong with it it just has a little bit of wear and tear that I'm gonna show you guys in a second but I'm really really happy with the camera that I got especially for the price that I got it for I'm pretty sure it was like two hundred dollars plus shipping which is insane to me because this is such a good camera and I've gotten been able to get just so many good pictures with it so first I'm going to show you how the body looks like so the main differences between this one and my T6i is that this one is just a little bigger it's also a lot heavier which is something that I really really love um, I have the Sigma 18 to 35 art lens and you guys know that lens is like eight pounds not I don't I don't know but it feels like eight pounds so when I would put that on my T6i that basically had no weight to it my pictures would always go like this and like it would just cause a lot of strain on my arms and I just really didn't like it so this one just feels a little bit more like I have more control of what lens I'm using even if I have a heavy, a heavy lens on it I feel like I have a little bit more control it is also smaller than the 5d mark 3 which I don't mind because my hands are small so I just feel like it's a perfect size for me I'm also getting a battery grip which I feel like it's gonna make everything balance out really nicely especially when I'm using like a 70 to 200 or something of that sort not much differences on the front um, of the camera basically it just feels more rugged it doesn't I don't know if it's weather sealed I don't think Canon calls it a weather seal but it's definitely more sturdy it just feels like I can do so much more with it and not have to be as careful which I will be but it just feels like it's a very like I don't know rugged camera so I like that feeling on the back is definitely where the most differences are um, as far as like buttons and stuff compared to my T6i so the first main difference that I see is that the viewfinder doesn't come out which is okay because I'm mainly using this one for photography if I was using it for video that would, that would be something that really bothers me because I can't really like pull it out and see myself and I don't know that's like a little thing that I have that I don't like but honestly just I don't really mind it um, the second difference is this right here which is a, such an upgrade this one has the wheel which I think is oh my god so much better um, and it still has like the little buttons right here but it just makes it so much better to be able to like go around so those are the main differences it also has like the start right here on my t6i I would have to turn the wheel all the way to video um, something else that it has that I really like is the button so you can like move it to manual and then be able to lock it and it won't move after taking pictures which is something that did happen it also has this little screen right here where you can see all your settings very easily it's really easy to just change your shutter speed right here on the top on this wheel mode your ISO and your focus and everything else over on the top it's just a really easy camera that just makes it so much easier for you to like change your settings as you go and it just makes it so much faster for me as an entry-level photographer um, I would call myself even less an entry-level I just I'm really more like a hobbyist I just find it like the perfect full-frame camera to start with so I've been using this one with my 50 millimeter f 1.8 lens and I kind of set both cameras on little tripods and I put the 50 millimeter on both and took the same picture and it was insane how much 
like how much space from the pictures I was missing. And it's just really, really like insane to think that I could do so much more with a 50 millimeter now that I have a full frame camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Um, I wish I could do a comparison video so you guys can see, but obviously the sensor is just much bigger than the Rebel T6i. So I'm having so much fun with this camera and I just feel like I really like it. If you are like me and you're looking for something to start with, this is a camera to go with. Now, with that said, I've gotten a lot of people tell me, like after I posted it on my social media, being like, oh, my full, my first full frame camera, a lot of people messaged me back and told me that this camera is something that has really bad reviews, that it sucks because it doesn't have continuous autofocus, which is something that I like was really um, kind of hesitant when I was buying it, but I decided to buy it just because people kept saying that it's not that bad and they're able to get really sharp pictures by just using the back uh, focus button. So I kind of changed all my settings to make it easier for the camera to um, to focus and it also has just one cross type um, focus on the center. So you have to be really careful when you're focusing with this camera to make sure that you get a very sharp image, which I don't think is that, like it sounds like a bad thing, but honestly I haven't had any trouble taking pictures with this. I kind of just go onto my object and I press the AF button until it focuses and then I take my picture and it's just like I do it continuously and I really haven't had any issues. The only issue that I've noticed is that when I'm taking something, when I'm taking a picture of a moving object and I have my, eye, my shutter speed really high, when the object is far away from me, I'm able to take a really sharp picture, but as it's moving towards me, the camera is like, it's impossible for the camera to actually like pick up on it. So if the subject is like right in front of the camera, it would always be blurred out and the background would always be in focus. That is the only thing that I've noticed, but honestly, coming from having also an ent entry level video camera, I really don't really mind that. So I think this is a great starter. You obviously are not going to spend a lot of money. You can also save your money and spend it on more like better lenses, in my opinion, that has a lot of a lot more value than the camera that you're using. Um, that is just my humble opinion, and that's how I like to view it. I really have no complaints. The other thing is that I wouldn't probably use this camera for video just because it doesn't have the continuous autofocus. Maybe I'll do like small cinematic um, videos here and there from just still shots that I can like really um, control my my focus with a manual focus but I don't think I would like go out and like film myself with this because it would honestly be impossible like I would have to be taking the camera and focusing as I go and that just seems really impossible to me um, so yeah so far I really really like this camera the other thing that I did notice it doesn't have a headphones um, jack in here so you can hear the sound as you're filming but that doesn't bother me either because my Rebel T6i doesn't have it either so yeah I just really find it really easy to use I'm gonna do a couple of videos just comparing this to my Rebel T6i and hopefully we can like see how it looks. So some things that I've noticed so far is that right here on the car slot it only has one um, car slot for an SD card and that's the difference between this one and other um, full frame cameras but like I said I'm using a Rebel T6i so there's no much difference from for me coming from that camera to this one. Um, and the other thing is that I really like that it has like the magnifier right here so you can just like get close-ups of when you're taking a picture, get it in, like get it uh, focused really sharp and then you take your picture and it's perfect. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a couple more videos with this camera. Let me know below if you have any questions, um, if you're on the same kind of train like me, like you have a crop sensor camera and you want to move yourself onto full frame cameras and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that something really good about this particular full frame is that you can use your EFS lenses and your um, ASPC lenses on this one. So that's really good. It definitely makes my life so much easier because I have so many lenses for this particular camera that I can still use with this one. So I'm not losing any money right there. So yeah, so far I really, really like the look of this camera. I just really love the weight of it. It just feels like more sturdy. It feels very professional. I love the fact that I have full frame. I feel like it's such a step up for me. So I'm going to show you guys right now. Hopefully you'll be able to see. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the camera and you're going to see that it actually doesn't really focus on me right away. Like it's not going to find focus whatsoever until I hit this back focus button. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this right here on my finger and you're going to see how it like tries to focus. Um, I have the 50 millimeter, so I'm pretty sure I have to be like so much further away from it. So I'm going to go ahead and move it um, right there. 
then I'm gonna go ahead and you're gonna see that it's gonna focus on the center. So right there, you're gonna see how it's gonna focus right on the center. I can move this little box if I want to by hitting here, um, but I kinda just wanna keep it on the center. But honestly, this makes it really easy to just take sharp photos and um, I think like the only difference for me is just hitting two buttons instead of one. And then you can always use manual focus, which is something that I really want to get better at. So if that really bothers you, I would say go ahead with the 5D Mark III instead of this one. But you're going to be spending a little bit more money and I just really didn't have it. Maybe someday I'll upgrade to that. But so far, I feel like this is a great beginner camera. I love it. I have no complaints. And I've just been really in love with it. I've been taking so many pictures. And yeah, I plan on doing another video on just the pictures that I have taken on this one compared to my Rebel and yeah, I've said that a million times. So thank you so much for watching this video. These are my reasons on why I love this camera, why I decided to go with it versus another full frame camera just to start with and as a beginner. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe below, like this video, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.